Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninge and in this video I'm going to make a little bit of a DevOps automation kind of video based on Aruba OS. So what I see a lot in a lot of environments is that um, the, the the IP addresses and names that are registered in the DNS service for switches is most of the times related to the management VLAN, which of course definitely makes sense. But I think it is important to register multiple addresses or maybe all addresses from the switch in the DNS server because then troubleshooting makes it much easier. For example, if you do just if you do a trace route and you have multiple routing hops and you will see the trace route is then only full with IP addresses for example if these names are not registered in the DNS server. So what I what I wrote was a script, you know, and it's a little bit of a quick and dirty write script. So if you you're more than welcome. I will post it on the GitHub. You will see the GitHub in this video. I will post it on there and then you can make the script much better. But what it does is it connects to the switch or it connects to multiple switches um, in, in Siri and then it will pull out the prompt name, it will pull out the VLAN ID and it will pull out the, the VLAN name and makes that one name, then creates output files that you can copy to your DNS server and you know grab and paste it into the right configuration file of your DNS server. So if you then do troubleshooting, if you then do a trace route, what you then see is automatically uh, where it is, which VLAN, what is the VLAN name, what is the switch. So it makes more sense. So let's have a little bit of a look at what we're going to do. Um, we have some uh, minimum configuration here with some prerequisite set is make sure that you get the host name configured on the switches, make sure the VLANs are configured, make sure that you have a default gateway, SSH enabled because I'm connecting with the NetMiko library uh, to the SSH switches. Uh, so you need a local username password or you need to have an integrated AA authentication system such as ClearPass. Um, configure the DNS and domain name, configure the DNS server if, because if you also want to test maybe on the switch, make sure that it's set up correctly and of course set up your DNS server. In my case I'm using an Ubuntu server with the bind services. So I will show you that because for the demo we're going to have a look at the switch configurations, we're going to have a look at how the DNS server is configured, then we're going to show you the Aruba OS DNS script, but I'm going to show you quickly because it is much easier. Download it from the GitHub and do everything you want with it. Then I run a trace route so you see um, what is the how the trace line looks like without having these addresses configured. Um, I have to say that um, uh, that I only have three switches. I have a 3810M, I have a 2920, and I have a 3500, and they are they are connected, so I'm emulating a tiny tiny network. Uh, run script. Then we go. Uh, so this is the way to run the script. We will look at that later. Then we're going to copy the output files to the DNS server and do some grabbing. So to put the right records into the right DNS configuration file, restart the service and run the trace route again. One remark: if you do a lot of testing when you're going to change the script or you do a lot of testing in your own environment from the same client, sometimes make sure that uh, uh, that uh, the entries can also be in your local cache. So you can see that on Windows with IP config slash display DNS. And you can clear that if you want with IP config slash plus DNS. Okay, so let's have a look. So let me do it like this so that we have a little bit of a bigger screen here. Uh, this is the DNS server. This is my core switch, distribution switch, and edge switch. So let's first have the, uh, let's I'll show you the running config of this uh, core switch. What you can see, we have multiple VLANs. VLAN 1 here, that's uh, emulating management VLANs, and that's also untagged. Then uh, we have VLAN 10 here, it's tagged on port 47, this is the IP address. We have VLAN 20 and we have VLAN 30. This switch is also used in my testing environment for DHCP server pool. I'm not going to do all the testing for all the different VLANs for this video because then it will be a long video. But I'm only going to do it for the management VLAN, VLAN 10 and for the uh, 192 VLAN. So that's uh, VLAN 192 and I named that finance. So. Let's have a look at the VLANs so, so that you can compare them. As I see in another video, I show you the VLAN, show VLAN custom command because I think that is a very handy command. Let me show the IAP name and the IP address. So let me also show you that on the other switches. You can see again how handy this VLAN custom command is. Okay, and show you on the edge switch also. Oh, show 
VLAN a custom ID name and IP address. Okay, so you can see that we have all the VLANs configured on all the switches, different 254, 253, and 252. Um, Core switch is connected to the distribution switch, and the distribution switch is connected to the core and the edge switch. On the edge switch, we have the client that is in the Untech VLAN 10, uh, and on the core switch, we also have the DNS server connected. So, when we're talking about the DNS server, so let's have a little bit of a look how the DNS server is configured. So, in the etc bind directory, so let's first have the name.conf local file. .local. This is where you can see, here's where I configured my DNS, uh, my tiny, tiny DNS server. abcnetworking.org, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, for the forward-looking files, that's in the db.abcnetworking.org file. And then I created two, let's say, reverse uh, zones, that's the 10.10.10. .10 .10. And as you can see here, that's our management VLAN. And uh, 192 is our finance VLAN. So the other ones are not configured, as I said, we're only going to do this for these two VLANs. So let's have a look at these DNS files then, it's db.abcnetworking.org. You can see there's only entries in there that are related to the DNS server, because 250 is my DNS server. So does that also count for VLAN 1 and for VLAN 2 for the reverse lookup that's in there? So, um, so if you do a dig, we can do a dig minus x, for example, on 10.10.250. And you can see then it will relate to the root of this, so this DNS server. So if I do nsabcnetworking.org, okay, I can also do that. So everything set, everything configured, let's go and look at the script. As I said, it's a very quick written script for me. Tiny and dirty, you can make it much better. I need to really thank Kirk Byers for uh, creating NetMiko and Jason Edelman for contributing to NetMiko, in particular for some of the Aruba OS and Procurve uh, additions in there. NetMiko, really handy. Otherwise, you need to do all your SSH configuration yourself, and I'm really lazy, so Kirk makes my life very, very simple. Everything is under the Apache 2 license. This is where you can find my... If you have any questions, you can find me. Uh, this is where I uh, split the IP addresses. Uh, this is where I connect to SSH. You know, uh, I have a little bit of a dirty um, try and accept script. Uh, but this is more or less, you know, for some output, create some VLANs. This is where I get the prompt, um, using that prompt to uh, for the for the DNS name registration. This is the command again. I using the custom. You see that? That's so handy. Um, where I can split it and make a list clean some of the output in here, and then I uh, append stuff to the DNS list. I return output file for debugging and DNS list. And then here is where I, this is a function where I save everything to a file, uh, for, uh, to a forward looking, uh, to a forward file and to reverse file for the PTR entries and for the A entries more or less. Um, this is the main script. This is the arguments. We will see that later on when we start the scripts. Um, this is some of the debugging information. Uh, you can, you, I, I time some stuff. Uh, in this script, I do series by series, so I don't do any uh, multi-threading or parallel SSH. Of course, you can do that. I think uh, even Kirk Bryce made a made a really nice script how you can do uh, uh, parallel processing. But as I said, I wrote this really, really, really quick just to uh, to give you guys an uh, an example, guys and ladies, by the way. So. Let me uh, let me kick off the script. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kick off the Aruba DNS script. This is the IP range. So we're going to connect to 252, 253, and 254 with this username, with this password, with this domain name, and the ABC network minus F will be the first part of the file. So we will have an ABC network underscore reverse and an ABC network underscore uh, forward. Of course, for both because we want to see what's happening. So let's kick it off. So what's what happening now? Connecting to the first switch, 252 here with SSH. Then it will find the prompt. There it is. There's our prompt. We will script off the hash. And then we could, we're going to pick up the VLAN information. You can see VLAN 1, management IP, VLAN 10, finance. So the name, IP. We do that for all the VLANs active on the, script, on the switch. Then we put that. You can see here is where I'm combining the names. ABC Edge script, a switch, VLAN, and then the ID number, and then the name. 
and then the IP address. So that's what building up. And you can see that's extending to more switches we're connecting, the longer the list will be. That's how we're extending it, and that's what we're going to put in a file. One as A records in the forward file, and PTR records, you can see here. It's where you can see all the name, and PTR records uh, are also here. So let's see if we have these two files. So we have an ABC network um, forward file, and we have an ABC network reverse file. Okay, so this is good, this is great. This is what we needed. So now we need to copy these files to our DNS server. Um, so let me do that like this. And let me open up. I'm going to put the single tunnel mode mode in and I want to see this. Okay. So we will probably need to write files in there. So let me copy my two files in here. Okay, let me go to our home directory here, and there are my two files, ABC Network Forward, you can see them. Oh, sorry, let me do the right more. Okay, and also the reverse is in there. Let me make this a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to put these... Um, uh, you can see that there are multiple VLANs in there, because I put everything in one file, I can create separate files for you, I can even script this, but what I do now is I will do sudo minus c, because my bind files are from root, uh, in, uh, in my tiny test laptop, I do a grab on VLAN 10, for example, and this is what I do on the ABC network, um, let me see on the ABC network, sorry, the ABC network network. Uh, I do it on the reverse.txt, and I'm going to add that data to DB. Uh, that's an etc bind slash DB dot VL10. So what will happen now is everything from VLAN 10 will be added to the reverse lookup file of our uh, DNS server. So. I need to type in my password. Okay, that's done. So let me do the same thing for a VLAN 1. Yes, that's done. And now we're going to add the forward looking, everything that's in the forward looking file, as you can see here on the screen, the A records we're going to add to the DB ABC networking dot our ABC network org file we saw earlier. So let's do this again, minus C, uh, or we can do that with a cat, ABC, net, uh, ABC network, network, forward, forward, ABC network, forward, dot, txt, and we're going to put that in slash etc, slash bind, slash db, dot, ABC network, dot org close it off okay so let's go to the etc bind directory and have a look at these files if this is all wind correctly okay vlan 10 entries are added vlan 1 entries are added and let's have a look at the and all the a records are also added for all the vlans in there so that's good so what we now need to do is of course we need to restart uh, our bind service. So this bind service is restarted. If we do a dig, minus x for reverse on 192.168.54.255, you can see ABC core finance ABC networking.org. So now let's go back to our client here, and if we do a trace route to, uh, for example, 10.10. .10 254 that's our core switch you can see that we have a good trace route command here and the IP address and you can see exactly where you go through to so we can even do to 250 for example you can see exactly which switch you're taking and this is the hostname of the DNS server because 250 is the DNS server so normally 
if you don't put all these entries in there, you only see the IP address there. So this makes much more sense, and you can do it in an automated fashion now to collect this information for you. So I hope you liked it, and I hope you like the YouTube channel. I think there is some really great content in there. And please leave comments if you like this. Please subscribe. Please make sure that you distribute this channel because I think it can have value for multiple persons. Thank you very much, and hope to see you next time.